In this video we will explain how to wire the Industry 4.0 communicator from Panasonic and how to get connected to it. First we install the 24 voltage DC power supply cable that comes with the Industry 4.0 communicator or shortly named FPI 4C unit. The FPI 4C unit will turn on as soon as the power supply has been connected. The green LED power will turn on after self-test. Next step is to configure the FPI 4C unit according to the application needs. The configuration settings are simply done by using any standard web browser like Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Chrome, etc. However, for configuring the FPI 4C we need to establish first a physical connection between the unit and the laptop by using a standard Ethernet cable. Be aware that the laptop must be in the same Ethernet network as the FPI 4C. The FPI 4C comes with two Ethernet connectors and two possibilities to connect. First possibility to connect is using the second Ethernet connector on the FPI 4C to establish a connection with the factory default IP address 192.168.01. This default IP address is also printed on a label attached to the housing of the unit. Next step is to set a fixed IP address for our laptop. So let's focus on our laptop. We go to Network and Internet settings, then Change Adapter Options. We select the Ethernet connection, which we want to connect with our FPI 4C unit. We need to change the settings of this Ethernet connection. In my case, I need to enter first the username and password to make changes to these settings, but it depends on your laptop if you have admin rights or not. We select then Internet Protocol version 4, then Settings. We proceed with setting a fixed IP address for our laptop. For example, it can be like this. IP address is 192.168.0.10 Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 Settings for default gateway and preferred DNS server are not required here. We are ready now to open the Internet browser. In our example it is Microsoft Edge. Let's enter the URL with the correct IP address from the FPI 4C unit. Depending on the browser you are using, an insecure connection warning may be displayed. We follow the instructions in our browser to accept the connection. We will then be forwarded to the web interface of the FPI 4C unit. A login with the default username admin and password admin is required. We recommend that you change the default password as soon as possible. We are now in the system settings area of the FPI 4C web interface where we are able to make general network and service settings or changing the user interface language. When we select application settings we enter the application settings area. We are now ready to configure the services required for our specific application. A second possibility to connect our FPI 4C unit with a laptop is by using a DHCP server. This means the IP addresses for our laptop and the FPI 4C are assigned automatically by this server. In that case we connect an Ethernet cable between the first Ethernet connector of the FPI 4C unit and our laptop by using a switch or hub. The switch or hub is connected to an Ethernet network with a DHCP server. Before we continue we also need to take care that the settings of our Ethernet connection from our laptop is changed from fixed IP address setting to DHCP. As the DHCP server has automatically assigned the IP addresses we need to find out now which IP address was assigned to the FPI 4C unit. We can easily find this out by opening the HMWin Studio software from Panasonic. After opening we go to Run, Manage Target and select the Board tab. In the device list of our DHCP network the automatically assigned IP address of the FPI4C unit is displayed. 
If there are multiple devices in the list, we would need to compare the displayed MAC address with the MAC address of the first Ethernet connector on the FPI4C to find the right device. As we found out the IP address of the FPI4C unit, we can now open the browser and enter the URL with this specific IP address. A login with the default username admin and password admin is required. And here we are again in the web interface area of the FPI4C to configure the services required for our specific application. That's all for this video. To find out more about the features of FPI4C, feel free to check out the other videos on our Panasonic Academy website. Panasonic Industry